What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and this is an unboxing and review of the Nerf Mega Hot Shock. Okay, guys, um, I know I'm a little late to the party on this one. My big loss was a little slow get it, getting these out on the shelves, and I finally got it, and then it just sat around because I just didn't have time to actually uh, do an unboxing for you guys, and I wanted to open this on camera. Um, I know a lot of other people already have, but uh, I just wanted, I thought it was my obligation to my channel to uh, give you guys my opinion on the blaster. So uh, we're going to take a look at it. Um, we're going to compare it to a big shock and maybe even a um, something like a cyclone shock, which the big shot's a little less expensive. The big sh uh, the cyclone shock's a little more expensive. This is $10 at Big Lots right now. That's the only place I know of you can purchase this. You may be able to find it eventually on Amazon. I'm unsure. I don't know if other retailers are planning on selling it in the future. So uh, check your local big lots. I don't see any range claims on here. There is a room uh, room to store an extra dart. It does come with two darts. Yeah, let's just crack this guy open and uh, see how she does. Since we're inside today, which we'll probably be inside for things mostly um, in the future, um, I may, may try to get outside and do a firing demo for this. We'll see how the light is. But since I live in Indiana and we have daylight saving time, it's like dark at like 5.30. So... I, once I get off work, I really have no time to shoot video, so that's why we're moving inside. So, welcome to, uh, this is kind of my Nerf uh, office slash workroom slash storage room slash everything room, shooting video room. <laughs> so, uh, there's a lot in this space. I've gotten it mostly cleaned up, but uh, maybe I'll do a tour when we get this thing completely cleaned up and uh, show you guys what, what I got going on in here. But anyways, let's just crack this guy open. Never cut towards yourself. Got some red twine and some gray twine. Interesting choices. I like the red twine. I don't know if I like the gray quite. It's like more of a light gray. Anyway. Uh, okay, I got the blaster out. Let's just go ahead and get the darts out here. Sorry if this isn't on camera, but it's not that exciting of unboxing anyway. So, no... Nothing more than what you could see really right there in the box. So there we go. Um, yeah, so there's the blaster. Handle's a bit small, but um, not terrible. It might be better actually for you know holstering that the handle's not huge. Um, we'll see. It'll be curious. I have a holster I want to try this in um, to see if it'll work. And yeah, well, uh, let's just fire one off here. I'm gonna fire one at the wall. Mm, not great performance. I can already tell that was a little light. Doesn't hit quite as hard as a cyclone shot. Probably very similar to a big shot. All right, I'm gonna shoot this big shot just to kind of give myself a first impression and comparison. I felt like this one shot harder. And this is stock gray trigger too. That's the thing is this is an orange trigger and this is a gray trigger which they never came out with an orange tr trigger version of this which I don't know why they chose the gray trigger if they were just going to come out with one, but maybe just to make it compatible with all formats. I don't know. We don't usually get gray triggers here in the United States, but I feel like they're very similar, to be honest. So not sure this is much better than that in terms of stock performance, but we'll have to mod it to see if it's better in terms of, you know, modability and Whatnot. I kind of like the way this looks a lot better. That's why I picked it up because I just think it's a really cool looking blaster. I think it's a lot better looking, obviously, than a big, uh, big shock. Yeah, I really think this is cool. Um, how you can see the plunger tube through here. You know, just the styling. The grip's more comfortable, in my opinion, than a big shock. This is big, but it, I really find this uncomfortable when you where your fingers grip on the front here. So this is a little more comfortable, even though the grip's small. I still find it pretty comfortable. You know, you got like a little iron sight up there. Pretty simple, basic stuff, you know. Nothing out of the box really for Hasbro. It's about time they made something like this actually for the Mega Line. So uh, let's, uh, I'm going to go shoot a few off outside. We'll see uh, what kind of ranges we get. And uh, I'll probably shoot it over the chronograph too. Let's uh, go do that now. Okay, guys, it's a bit breezy. Um, today, so I just want to let you know that the wind's basically blowing from right to left here The darts may just curve a little bit more. We'll see shouldn't affect it too much. It's starting to die down here So 
I'll try not to shoot them when it's real breezy. The neighbors have left some balls in the yard and I didn't feel like I wanted to move them out of the way, so that's why they're there. But uh, nevertheless, uh, let's go ahead and shoot a couple, couple shots here with the uh, hot shock. Wow, that was just awful. That was awful too. Two shots, terrible. I'd say that was about 25 feet, not very good. I'll do two shots with the uh, big shot to see how much worse or better it does. These are level, obviously. That went further. Yeah, this is shooting harder. Hmm. Well, that's a little disappointing. Okay, guys, this was pretty disappointing, honestly. I was hoping the performance would be better. I assumed it would be better than a, than a big shock, but it's not better at all. It's actually slightly worse than a big shock getting ranges five to 10 feet less than a big shock, which is really disappointing. At least I only shot it about four or five times, but they all went very consistently about 25 feet. So, and the big shock was probably around 30 or a little bit more. So I did try to put it over the chronograph. Most of them came up as errors. I got one reading out of this at 50. The big shock was basically the same most errors but I got a few at like 50 and 48 so FPF they seem to be very similar there but uh, in terms of ranges this one's a little less so that's why FPS you know I don't know when it gets this slow it's really not that effective I probably would not recommend this blaster if you're not gonna mod it I do think it has some modding potential I know it has some modding potential especially if you're looking at converting it to shoot either elite darts or rival balls or both so there's definitely mods that I plan to do to this that will do that and I'll show that on the channel I'll probably do I have I bought two of these I'll probably do one that's more of a standard rival ball elite you know simple mod and then I'm gonna attempt to do one that's a little more meant for like an NIC style uh, primary or well, not primary but pistol so yeah it's a uh, it's got some potential modding, but I wouldn't buy this if you're just looking at shooting mega darts. I mean, a Cyclone Shock is so much better, and it's only a few dollars more right now on Amazon. I think you can pick it up for about $12, $13 usually on Amazon. Um, I know I purchased one a while back for that, so keep your eye out, especially around the holidays. You might, you never know. They might be for going for 10 or less with some sales going on on Amazon. Um, so definitely check that out if you're looking. I much, much, much prefer the the cyclone shock straight up to this this is definitely a little bit more holsterable than that so that would be one that'd be really the only reason to get this if you need to shoot mega darts at like an hvz event and you like the way this holsters a little bit better than maybe a big shock a big shot's smaller though so you could even put that in probably your pocket you wouldn't even need a holster so i would probably prefer that but uh this would be an option for you for that kind of a situation if you need a mega dart to to kill a special zombie or something but yeah i don't I, I would think this is a pass unless you're looking at modding it which if you're looking at modding it then maybe it's worth the ten dollars so uh yeah that's been my review thank you guys so much for watching uh definitely stay tuned for the mod guide but i i do apologize that this blaster is a little disappointing stock but uh hopefully we can uh, do something to make that a little bit better that's the one thing that's nice about finding blasters that don't perform quite as well as that gives you a challenge to make them to make them do so so appreciate your viewership please like subscribe and share and i'll catch you in the next video peace out guys